Hello students. In this video, I'll be discussing about the Gauss divergence theorem. If f is a continuously differentiable vector point function, defined in a volume V bounded by a closed surface S, then integral surface integral of F is equal to the volume integral of divergence f to illustrate we'll apply the divergence theorem to evaluate the surface integral of the vector 4x i cap minus 2 y squared j cap plus z squared k cap where s is the surface bounding the region x squared plus y squared equal to 4, z equal to 0, and z equal to 3. Using the Gauss Divergence Theorem. Now the region that we have is a cylinder. So let us draw the region. So we have this plane to be z equal to 3. This would be z equal to zero and this surface is the surface area curved surface of the cylinder x squared plus y squared equal to four so according to the gauss divergence theorem surface integral of f This is equal to the volume integral of divergence f. Now vector f is 4xi minus 2y squared j plus 
plus z squared k. So divergence of f will be 4 minus 4y plus 2z. Now volume v, the limits will be Now z equal to 0 to z equal to 3 is already given. So we need to find the limits for x and y. Now once the limits for z is done, all we are left is the region, the circular region in the xy plane. So converting it to polar coordinate should be ideal for us. So we take x equal to r cos theta, y equal to r sin theta. So dx dy will transform to r dr d theta. So integral s f dot ds. This is integral over v. 4 minus 4y plus 2z dx dy dz. Now the limits for R will be 0 to 2 that is the boundary of the circular region is radius 2 units and the limits for theta will be because we have the entire circular region so theta will be from 0 to 2 pi so integral s f dot ds will be integral 0 to 3 integral 0 to 2 integral 0 to 2 pi four minus 4 times r sin theta plus 2 times z into r dr d theta dz. So this will be integral 0 to 3, integral 0 to 2, 4 theta minus 4 r minus cos theta plus 2 z theta into r the limits theta equal to 0 to 2 pi d theta dr dz now here This should be in fact replaced with d theta dr since the limits for theta is written as the innermost limit. So this would be.
integral 0 to 3, integral 0 to 2, 8 pi plus 4r cos 2 pi is 1 minus cos 0 is 1 plus 4 pi z into r dr dz. So this will be integral 0 to 3 integral 0 to 2 8 pi r plus 4 pi z into r dr dz so integrating with respect to r we have 4 pi r squared plus 2 pi z r squared between for the limits r equal to 0 to 2 dz so this will be integral 0 to 3 16 pi plus 8 pi z dz that is 16 pi z plus 4 pi z squared from 0 to 3 So this will be 48 pi plus 36 pi, which is 84 pi. So this would be the value of the surface integral.